FIFA 20 penalty tutorial after the latest update. My name is Brabzy, we're going to get you guys slotting them away more consistently. So if you haven't joined the squad already, go ahead and give that button a tickle. Let's do this. Squad, EA finally listened to us and got rid of that awful head movement mid penalty. So now we can start using a few different techniques to become more consistent and more unpredictable with what we're going to do. Let's start sticking them away. The first technique aims towards the top corner of the stronger foot before finishing at the bottom corner of the opposite side. When you move the stick, your player's head will move in that direction. From there, load a little power before immediately going to the opposite side. By aiming for the bottom corner, we're making sure the shot will go on target without the need for a timed finish. By increasing our accuracy aiming at the bottom corner, if you do attempt a timed finish, the ball will still go in even if you hit a yellow. Timed finishing does increase the accuracy and power your player puts on the ball. Wait for your player to drag his leg back before hitting the shoot button again. When facing a human goalkeeper in Ultimate Team, take your time aiming to the side to make it more believable that that's where you're going to go. The next technique is faking middle and finishing at the top. This eliminates the head movement to make your opponent think you're going straight down the middle. To start this, just tap the shoot button to decrease the error before moving it to the top corner. When moving the analog stick, make sure you do this carefully to decrease any error on goal. The reason we're aiming for the top corner on this is because human goalkeepers are more likely to aim for the bottom corner if they are going to dive. This final technique should just be saved for when you're against a human goalkeeper. Fake side, finish middle. In an online match, your opponent is more likely to dive if they see your head move, so aim across the body to exaggerate this movement. Once you've done this, hit a little bit of power and then immediately release the analog stick. Doing this returns your aim to the center of the goal. I would recommend not using any timed finishing on this particular technique as you don't want to increase the likelihood of missing. By mixing up your penalties with the head movement, you will make it more difficult to predict where you're going to shoot the ball. Have fun practicing these techniques to increase your penalty skills. As always, give the videos a thumbs up guys and let me know in the comments how you found this. Till next time, have yourselves a great day and I'll see you very soon.